Did you know that Tesla just came out with a new lawnmower? It's called the Elon. Just plug it in the wall and it's also zero emission. Well, I'm just kidding. Tesla has Elon but not the electric lawnmower. They might come out in the near future, but Elon just got married with Twitter and he's busy having a honeymoon with Twitter right now, so it's gonna take a while. Today I have a plug-in electric lawnmower I want to turn into a wood chipper and not just a wood chipper, a cordless wood chipper. Before I show you this, I gotta say don't try this at home. It's just for entertainment only. This is extremely dangerous and you're gonna get into some serious injury or even death. Now that's out of the way, let's get started. So over here I got a very old corded electric lawnmower. I picked up from a dumpster dive a while back. My wife asked me why I brought this home even though we had no grass. I said because I couldn't afford a Tesla, I got an Elon instead. I plan to use this in my garden and this lawn mower requires a 120 volt AC power outlet. There's no power outlet there in my garden so I'm going to have to find a way to power this lawn mower. I have two options. The first option is to get a power inverter, powerful enough to run this. This requires a lot of power, especially when I first start up the motor. I don't have anything like that at the moment, so I have to find another way to power this. Luckily, this Elon has a universal AC motor, and that means I can run on both AC and DC power. I'm going to run it directly from my Greenworks 60 volt battery. I make an outlet which I connect the neutral and hot lines with two wires going out to my XT60 connector and then I make an adapter that connects to my 60 volt battery and also out to an XT60 connector and then I connect the battery directly to the outlet with the XT60 connectors. So if I measure the voltage coming out of the outlet, I've got 60 volt DC. And then I just plug my lawnmower to the now my 60 volt DC outlet and it works just fine. The RPM is a bit low because it runs on a low voltage but it should be powerful enough to work as a wood chipper. Next, I have to modify this lawnmower to cut wood instead of grass. I turn the lawnmower upside down and use a couple of clamps to clamp down a piece of plywood. I leave a hole big enough to feed the wood in there. It cannot cut anything yet because if I feed a piece of wood in there, instead of cutting the wood, the blade would just grab and pull the branch around and eventually tie a knot around the blade and seize the motor. I need to have something to hold the branch in place so that the blade will cut it instead of pulling it. This can be done by securing a piece of steel or even a piece of wood underneath the blade just enough to clear the blade. Or in this case, I will put a piece of cement brick on top of the blade. That will create an anchor point for the three branches so that they will get cut instead of getting pulled around and clock the motor. I put another cement brick on top to make it heavy enough so that it doesn't move around too much. And that's it. All I need is a piece of plywood, a couple of clamps, and a cement brick to turn Elon into a wood chipper. Is it gonna work? Let's find out. So over here I have some tree branches, about 1 to 2 inches in diameter. Let's give it a go. Here are the chips. It cuts into very fine fragments. I do have some bigger fragments, but that's because I fit it in too fast. The slower I fit it in, the finer my cut will be. 
I also have a mountain of smaller branches from a vine. Let's give it a go. As you can see, it cuts the little branches from a vine just fine. I do have some big fragments this time, and that's because I fit it in too fast. But these should be fine for composting. If I need to cut the branches into finer and smaller fragments, there are three things I need to do. Number one is to sharpen my blade. This blade is really old and is way too dull, and I really need to take some time to sharpen it. All I have to do is a good old file, and I can sharpen it without any special tool. These blades are super hard, so it will take some time to sharpen them. The second thing I need to do to get finer chips is to fit in more slowly, as I mentioned earlier. The last thing I need to do is to plug this into a real 120 volt AC outlet, and that will provide full power to the lawnmower. Running it with a 60 volt battery does not give me full potential of this machine. But because I don't have a power outlet here in the garden, the 60 volt battery is the best thing out here. Next, I'm going to answer one question that I'm sure many of you are going to ask. How much run time do I get for a 60 volt 5 amp hour battery like this? I started at about 75%, so it was 3 bars when I started and right now I got two bars out of four so I have used up about 25% out of this battery so for the entire time that I use I ran it for over an hour so when I fully charge this battery it's going to last me over four hours and that's a significant amount of time and I can chip a lot of tree branches all in all, this machine is working so well beyond my expectation, even though it runs on a dual blade and at a voltage half of the original rated voltage. I can easily make the chips that come out a little bit finer, but at this size, it's good enough to make compost. Sometimes have so much yard waste that they don't fit in trash bin, which they only collect once a week. I have to wait for the next week to put in the next batch of yard waste into the trash. So now I don't have to waste my time collecting all of these branches to put them in the trash. I can even use them as a natural fertilizer for growing other plants. It's like killing two birds with one stone, really. Or should I say, killing two twitters with one elon. And that's all I have for now, folks. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.